C-reactive protein or CRP was discovered by Tillet and Francis in 1930. CRP is a pentameric protein synthesized by the liver whose level rises in response to inflammation. CRP is an acute phase reactant protein that is primarily induced by the IL-6 action on the gene responsible for transcription of CRP during the acute phase of an inflammatory or infectious process. CRP has both pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory properties. It plays a role in the recognition and clearance of foreign pathogens and damaged cells. As compared to the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, the ESR, the levels of CRP rises and fall rapidly with the onset and removal of the inflammatory stimulus, meaning the CRP rises rapidly with the onset and fall rapidly with the removal of the inflammatory stimulus. There are numerous causes of an elevated C-reactive protein levels. These include acute and chronic conditions and this can be infectious or non-infectious in etiology. However, markedly elevated levels of CRP are most often associated with an infectious cause. Persistently elevated CRP levels can be seen in chronic inflammatory conditions such as chronic infections or inflammatory arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis. Even trauma can cause elevations in CRP. The test for CRP level estimation is performed when the physician suspects acute or chronic inflammation such as SLE or rheumatoid arthritis or infection. Laboratory values may vary and there is no standard at present, but values less than 0.3 mg per deciliter of blood are considered to be normal in most healthy adults. 0.3 to 1 mg per deciliter of blood indicates normal or minor elevation which can be seen in various conditions such as obesity, pregnancy, depression, diabetes, common cold, gingivitis, periodontitis, sedentary lifestyle, cigarette smoking, and genetic polymorphisms. Levels between 1 to 10 mg per deciliter indicate moderate elevation, such as in systemic inflammations like rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, or other autoimmune diseases or malignancies, myocardial infarction, pancreatitis, or bronchitis. Levels more than 10 mg per deciliter is considered marked elevation, which can be seen in acute bacterial infections or viral infections, including the coronavirus infection, systemic vasculitis, and major trauma. Levels more than 50 mg per deciliter is considered severe elevation, which can be seen in acute bacterial infections. It is now established that inflammatory responses play a critical role in the progression of COVID-19 as well as the severity of COVID-19. Inflammatory responses triggered by the rapid viral replication of SARS-CoV-2 and cellular destruction can recruit macrophages and monocytes and induce the release of cytokines and chemokines. These cytokines and chemokines then attract the immune cells and activate immune response, leading to cytokine storms and aggravation. C-reactive protein has been found as an important marker that changes significantly in severe patients with COVID-19. A significant increase of CRP was found in patients with COVID-19. Elevated levels of CRP were observed up to 86% in severe COVID-19 patients. A significant association was observed between CRP concentrations and the aggravation of non-severe patients with COVID-19. Some authors propose CRP as a suitable marker for anticipating the aggravation probability of non-severe COVID-19 patients. Some authors also noted that the risk of developing severe events is increased by 5% for every one unit increase in CRP concentrations in patients with COVID-19. 
Furthermore, it was observed that patients with low oxygen saturation, SpO2 less than 90%, had significantly higher levels of CRP compared with patients with high oxygen saturation, indicating that more severe patients with lung damage have elevated levels of CRP. So higher levels of CRP indicate more severe disease course linked to lung injury and worse prognosis. CRP levels are correlated well with the severity of symptoms of patients with COVID-19. Therefore, it may be a suitable marker in assessing a patient's conditions together with other clinical findings. Thus, CRP production is induced by inflammatory cytokines and by tissue destruction in patients with COVID-19. So, elevated level of CRP may be a valuable early marker in predicting the possibility of disease progression in non-severe patients with COVID-19, which can help us to identify those patients in early stage for early treatment. COVID-19 patients with elevated levels of CRP need close monitoring and treatment even though they did not develop symptoms to meet the criteria for the severe disease course.